Hey guys, what's up? It's Venus. Um, long time no see. I've missed you. So today I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. But before that, I just realized I'm not wearing any makeup, and that's actually something I wanted to share with you. Um, my awesome trick on uh, what to do when you're not wearing makeup, but you look like you're wearing makeup, and you don't really have time to wear makeup. Um. You get the point, so basically, I don't really want to wear makeup right now, but it's a video, so I'm gonna put on some makeup that doesn't look like makeup. Got the point? Okay, let's start. Look at my little cute makeup pouch here, isn't this adorable? <laughs> Looks very cute. Uh, usually cute makeup pouches like these are so expensive, but I got this for like... 10 US dollar, maybe? Like, that's awesome. <laughs> so, um, I usually take this actually in within inside my bag, within my bag. I cannot English. Okay, <laughs> um, let's see what's inside. Seriously, I carry this around when I'm like in a rush and then suddenly my friend is like, let's meet and I'm like, oh my gosh, um, yeah, so. I need to put on some makeup. All right, so this is what I do. Um, first, we have this here. Gosh, I always forgot to forget to put my bands on the way. So just a little twirly girly here and you put a little bit on your fingers and then we and then we. What language am I speaking right now? Yeah, you do lots of wee wee's and don't go smear it all over your face. Mm, mm, mm. Now you can see that it's. I don't know the dullness of my face. My skin. Uh, my skin shade, my skin tone, my complexion. Um, so many verses could apply. Okay, looks good. Don't we just need powder? Yep, just powder. Now you're wondering what supin probably means. Exactly, supin. Well, supin, Japanese lesson, means bare face. I was a bare face before, but then I put on Sapin cream. Doesn't this look cute? This little powder puff thing. Oh, I love it. The ribbon looks so cute. Okay. You hit your face. <laughs> hit your face, I mean. Um, yeah, apply the powder on your face. Do your eye wax. My eye wax are terrible. The whole point of this Supin makeup is that you look like you don't have any makeup on, but just a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah. And the extremely awesome point of Supin makeup is you can actually sleep in Supin makeup. It's like skincare makeup. The skin will just absorb it. So you look pretty. You look pretty when you apply it, and you'll be pretty because it's actually skincare. Uh, double whammy: two birds with one stone. Gosh, my eyebrows are so short. Just draw them on, like usual. I don't know if you guys have to do this. If not. You're super lucky. I'm singing the McDonald's theme song. Probably hungry. Thank you. I feel normal now. Do you guys even know how hard it is to do makeup with one hand? Like, seriously, dying. Especially I have shaky hands, so I can kind of do this magic thing, magic thing. Voila! I'm a princess now. Again, hide my forehead again with oh gosh my bangs protect my forehead Whoa. and the last thing in my magical no makeup makeup pouch is this here it's like a 
Gosh, I tried to talk while applying my lip gloss. I'm pretty sure my... I must have an IQ of 20 or something. Anyway, um... First do, then explain. So, what this is, this is like a lip gloss with oil, like an oil lip gloss. So, it cares for your lips while making you look pretty. Isn't that awesome? I know. I'm, I'm so blessed to live in Japan with so many great products. And yes, this is actually from the Sanrio. Hello Kitty Star! You also have makeup! Ah! Loves it! So this is one thing I mostly carry in my bag when there's enough space. Now I'm gonna show you which bags I actually use. I have two, no, three bags I mostly use. Let me show them. So may I show you my beloved bags? Ah, uh, girl, boy. Um, I love you so much. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, okay, I, I'm just expressing my feelings towards my backpack. But, um, look at this, isn't it cute? Uh, okay, so first of all, this is, uh, this backpack is from this brand called MCM and I worked very hard to get this. It is uh, quite expensive, um, but it is the absolute most favorite backpack I've ever owned in my entire life. And I'm so happy every day and I thank God and the universe and uh, all every that I'm able to wear such a cute backpack. Um, I put on this cute little cat strap and this cute little star strap. Kind of love cats, kind of love stars, so bleh. that's why I put them on it. Most people put like their favorite anime characters, but I'm just like cats, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, so um, the material is also pretty good. The price was pretty good. It was around 1000 US dollars Biaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
everyone has a goth day, even if they don't realize it. It just looks different for other people. It's a black day. Oh my gosh, I want to say, I want to insult goth by saying the wrong term for goth, but you know, just feeling like, yeah, you have a day where you feel like, you know, you, you feel like you're coming from the undead. Or you're like a dark, mysterious lady. What am I even talking about? Anyway, have a look at this cutie here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Okay, stop. Stop. Because my friends said this looks like an old lady's bag. But I refuse to agree. This is a very feminine, elegant, dark soled bag. Pack. has this lovely flower pattern that looks like lace, a lacy flower pattern and this ribbon on top which is such a cute addition which I usually don't really see on backpacks um, that's really one of the things that got me and um, it is from the bland, bland it is <laughs> from the brand Lanvin and Bleu I hope I said that right Lanvin and Bleu, Lanvin and Bleu, Lanvin and Bleu, Lanvin and Bleu. No, that, that, that before sounded like I just ate something really disgusting. Okay, um, yeah, so it has a pocket here, which is super useful. It has pockets inside, which is also useful. It is uh, my back top, my laptop. Why can't I speak today? My laptop fits in um, perfectly, which is important because I work with my laptop and you know, um, as I'm kind of like type A, so we really wanna work everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, this is my second backpack. Which I wear when uh, my soul is sort of dark. And the second one is not a backpack, but it is a tote bag. Gosh, I have never would have thought I'd ever get a tote bag until I found out how amazing tote bags can be. By the way, did you know that before I knew tote bags, you were supposed to spell them tote bag? I said tote bag. Well, wow, those were cringy times. So, what is happening here? It's not supposed to look like this. What? what? No, no, it's supposed to be like this. It's a, n oh, God. Now, here you go. See this cute chain here? Yep, I got it with the bag. Because the more bling, the better. Bling everything. I'm a girl after all, a very girly girl. I mean, I think you'll know what I mean. Um, okay, oh gosh, so this happens a lot. This is the only thing I do not like about this tote, tote bag. Um, this is sort of, like it always unties. All right, let me get that fixed. So I think you do a knot. And then you do another knot, I think. And then you do like a ribbon. Am I supposed to do another knot after doing the ribbon? No, that was real weird. Okay. Good. Good. There we go. <laughs> um, this is from the brand Maison de... F oh. Actually, I'm just showing you this uh, because it's, like, this is supposed to be a, um, you know, introduction of my bags and what's in my bag. And actually, I was supposed to like um, wash this, put it in the laundry, and then iron it, so it looks a little bit blah. Yeah, sorry about that. It's more pretty. Uh, it's more pretty. Promise. I promise you. <laughs> um, it's from the brand, uh, as you can see, Maison de Fleur. It is a very popular brand here and 
It's so mainstream. Um, it's like every fifth girl you see in Tokyo has a Maison de Fleur bag. They come in different colors. And I choose pink because most of my clothes are pink. I'm a pink girl who loves a little bit of bling. <laughs> so yeah. Um, how I use this bag? Well, now here comes the important question. You see, um, here I usually put in my basic necessities. But when I just need a little bit more stuff, when I need to bring more stuff uh, with me, for example, I go shooting somewhere or I have like a meeting somewhere, um, then I bring this bag, like it's an extra bag. This is super handy, right? Um, I also used to have a black Maison de Fleur tote bag, but um, yeah, I can't find it. And um, well, you'll get to see more Maison de Fleur tote bags. And lucky, lucky, I'll have more Maison de Fleur stuff to show to you today. It's amazingly cute and ladylike, so let's go on. Oh, and yeah, these were pretty much all of the bags that I use. Um, next we go um, on in what's inside my bag. And now you could call me a little bit extreme, but what I will show you right now is not what I carry around all of the time. It's like, it's just that um, depending on the situation, depending on the weather, depending on where I go, I have lots of different kinds of things to take with me. Um, so what I usually do uh, is I store them in a drawer, like all the things I put in my bag, I store them in a drawer. So when I get home, I immediately like take out all of my, like put, take out all the <laughs> brain explosion. <laughs> what happens when, um, so, uh, gosh, brain, do something. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so when I get home, I get everything uh, out of my bag, put it in a drawer, and then the next day when I go outside, I take the stuff that I need for that day and put it into my bags. That sounds a little bit complicated, but it works. And guys, listen, I had very disorganized bags until now, but I've decided to change my life and become a bag organizer. I hope this was inspiring and I hope that you too um, are inspired to have a clean bag after hearing my sad, sad, sad story. My bag was terrible, filled with bonbon wrappers, drinks that haven't been expired, receipts, coins, what else? Oh yeah, half-eaten cookies. What else? Those were terrible times. But not anymore. I've changed my life. And you'll see how. Let's go. So if you clicked on this video probably expecting what's in my bag and I just show you my bag. I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't cute. <laughs> Comment below how many if that was very kawaii. 1 to 10. Uh, 1. Uh, cringe, tan, kawaii. Please, I want to be kawaii. Make me the most kawaii girl on YouTube. Okay, enough. I will show you what's in my bag. Finally, the time has come. Let's go. <laughs> okay, uh, where do we start? Where does we start? Shall we start with makeup? Shall we start with money? Where do, where do we start? Okay, so I guess uh, that... Uh... All right, guys, let's start with money because everyone loves money and I think everyone uh, wants to know about my money affair, so... Tingling a bling bling. I think that a well organized um, bag also directly equates to. Um, actually, there was a study once um, where a company they require. I was fucking learn to speak English. Um, so they did a study, alright? So one company tried to recruit employees and they did a test, like, they said show me the inside of your wallet and um, 
What was it again? Did they try to employ it? Anyway, end of the story. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip this part and go to the end of the story. So the company who employed people with the nice and clean wallet um, did a lot better in the sales and general um, employee satisfaction, customer satisfaction and stuff. So cleanliness is extremely an oh, organization and just proper management of all kinds of things is extremely important if you don't want to be poor and die alone in a corner in a cold room. And rats. Nothing against rats, they're cute. Okay. <laughs> so this here is my wallet. Isn't it cute? It is uh, from the Sun Hero character. Yeah, so in Japan it's actually really popular to have like a uh, brand sa Saifu. I just said wallet in Japanese. Uh, I mean a br brand wallet. <laughs> the shame. <laughs> Why can't I talk? I mean, I usually talk normal to people, but like talking in front of a camera is just like... And you know I'm talking to you guys, but there's no person in front of me. There's no one like answering me or something. So my brain goes just like... Brr, kaboom, ba -chow. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, but I think that you should get... Um, a wallet not because of status but because you really like it and I just love this cute strawberry milk pink little ribbon here it just makes my heart go pew <laughs> if you get what I mean so inside my wallet I make sure to keep an even number of cards and only the most important cards so for example uh, my residency card, uh, point cards, like cashback type of point cards and I have around four cards in my wallet. I heard that it's not good luck to keep an uneven number of cards in your wallet and what I also do not keep in my wallet is, this is gonna surprise you, but I don't keep coins in my wallet. This has a very good reason because according to Feng Shui you shouldn't keep metal and wood, well Paper money is basically wood. You shouldn't keep metal and wood together at the same place. This might sound annoying, but I feel like the more you preoccupy, preoccupy your, yourself with um, these kind of tiny rules, the more your subconscious gets like, really fixated on just the importance, um, how much you care about you know, finances and because it goes so, so into your subconscious, you end up spending less money on... You end up spending less money on shit! That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, um, having these kind of rules is really good. This is my wallet. Now where do I keep my coins? I keep my coins in here, in this little pouch here. Um, this looks really cute, right? Actually, I got this from the 100 yen shop. Um, so what I like to do is to get like cute, simple things from the 100 yen shop, but then add a little cute accessory. Like this is from the from Sanrio, and then it's, it immediately looks even cuter. That's like smart. I hope I'm smart. Smart. I'm smart. <laughs> so this is where I keep my coins, and. A good thing, um, a really good thing when you keep your coins and your paper notes, your paper money, uh, separate is that you don't end up with too many coins, which is annoying. And if you just go on a trip to the convenience store, all you have to do is take your coin pouch with you. That's a lot easier than safer than uh, taking your whole wallet with you, you know. Next, I have a special pouch for when I go to the bank. Um, it contains um, two of my... Um, can't show you this, so I'm gonna censor it. <laughs> um, two of my bank... Um, bank... bank... bank books. Exactly. Two of my bank books um, for two different banks. And um, yeah, 
that's basically it. <laughs> it also has a little pouch in it for my income, my uh, stamp, which you always need to use for legal stuff in Japan. You just stamp it on legal documents and stuff. So yeah, that's what I need when I go to the bank. Phew. Oh yeah, and isn't this pretty? Um, I once bought makeup by Jill Stewart. Jill Stewart is one of my favorite makeup brands. It's so pretty, like all the crystal and flowers and um, pretty pastel colors. It's like it's like the inside of my heart. It, it reflects the inside of my heart. I love Jill Stewart. Okay, so this is a pouch um, I got when I bought makeup from Jill Stewart. See this little symbol here. Yeah, so it's my little bank pouch, which I use when I go to the bank. Uh, when I don't go to the bank, then I usually just put this in my drawer and only take it out when I do have plans to go to the bank. So next I'm going to show you two um, pouches which I usually always take with me. Um, so let's start with this one. This is actually from the same brand as Maison de Fleur. It's really girly, right? Love the pastel color. Such a nice material. Very silky. Has this look cute, look cute little thingy here that says Maison de Fleur. Loves it. So this is kind of like my vanity pouch. Toilet repouch? Oh, no, I don't like the word toilet. Um, vanity pouch. So I'd say the most gorgeous item I have in here is... No, no I don't want to... No, I don't want to spoil that. Um, what I have... Uh, basically every... I think every person living in Japan has this but you see there are no hand towels in Japanese um, hand washing rooms have Japanese toilet rooms so you need to bring your own towel so yeah I got this one with like cute bunny um, but this is not the only time when I use it when I wash my hands so I also have um, this hand cream here which um, is really cute um, it's from Sanrio. The character is uh, My Melody and it smells like flowers. Yeah, like fresh. Oh, like. Oh, oh, oh. It's cherry blossoms, yes. <laughs> Just realized now I've had this for so long and didn't realize it was like cherry blossom. <laughs> um, okay, so I always put a little bit of the cream on my hands and then um, the issue so the issue with um, me and hand creams is that I really don't like this feeling like when you apply after you apply the hand cream your hands are a little bit too moist and uh, sticky so when that happens I take uh, this towel and kind of wink, 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 kind of wipe off the excess moisture and then just the right amount of um, moisture on your hands yeah nice smooth hands without being too sticky so yeah that's also one thing um, I use this towel for and um, yeah, I think I think that taking care of your hands I just for me it's something really important taking care of my nails and hands um, even if I'm not really put together I just feel nice and pretty and fluffy so yeah that's kind of what I like <laughs> about um, it so next what do we have in here um, da -da -da. this is a perfume isn't it cute it's from Jill Stewart as well as you can see I love Jill Stewart um, this is the actual perfume and this here is the perfume pouch isn't it cute? So Jill Stewart has like, you know, the usual normal size flask of perfume and um, this is the tiny version which you can carry around in your pouch. Um, now the reason why I really <laughs> like carrying around perfumes is because I just love things that smell nice. So my hands have to smell nice, my hair has to smell nice and my room has to smell nice. So in my room I usually burn incense like 
flower or lavender or um, what else uh, like some magic mixture of unicorns and sugar <laughs> Anyway, I love incense. Um, I use powder incense, um, stick incense, or aroma candles. Or I make my own room sprays with essential oils and water. Like this one here is... Uh, I love it to use it in the morning, but it's like a peppermint spray. <sighs> and it really wakes you up in the morning. What I'm trying to say is that at home, I really take care that my room smells nice because if my room smells nice I smell nice too and when I go outside I like to make myself smell nice to accomplish that I got this uh, portable um, Jill Stewart roll-on perfume oh, it smells like a rose bouquet like white pink roses it's fantastic I apply it like behind my ears and on my wrist. This is one of my treasures. Love it so much. This here is, uh, I know it looks like the perfume bottle. Um, I just showed you before, but actually this is like an oral spray. So after eating something when I'm um, outside, then I'm kind of conscious of my breath i don't want to smell bad or put people off so i just go to the toilet and um spray this yeah it works like a spell ah, i missed it and <laughs> it went all over my face uh, and it's not just that it uh, puts off like your bad smell but it also kind of refreshes you it gives you a little bit of a kick you just feel kind of refreshed. Another great thing about it is that it tastes really girly. Like, it even says like, juicy peach. Which is nice. Love it. What I also carry around is this alcohol spray, disinfecting spray. <laughs> it has this cute character on it. Isn't it cute? So yeah, whenever I'm outside and go to the bathroom, after I wash my hands, um, and before I put on my hand cream, I make sure to disinfect my hands or in case the restaurant, but this is really like, this doesn't happen often, but if the restaurant doesn't have like any um, disinfecting hand sanitizer, um, I really make sure to spray this on. This is really important, guys. Disinfect your hands, recommend you get one of these two Corona is real and it's dangerous and you don't want to infect yourself or other people Disinfecting spray Boom Besides that, I just have the usual things um, the girl has Which is a hand mirror This one here is from Anna Sui Another brand I adore because of this just beautiful design have to check if I don't have anything between my teeth because I'm really clumsy or like um, spaghetti sauce on my mouth <laughs> or just to fix my lipstick so yeah this is this is really one of my must-haves I always carry a mirror with me and I think I have this already since two years so it's probably one of these things I'll keep forever but the design is also really timeless, pretty, and this rather ugly hairbrush. Well, ugly, well, it's not cute, pink or sparkly, but hey, it does its job. Someday, I hope so, someday I'll get myself a No cuter hairbrush as a reward if I finally feel like I deserve a reward. This one here, um, I make sure I always have this with me, but it's like my emergency pocket. Like you never know what's going to happen or when you need, you know. It's like just you know you don't you ever have like one of these moments. Where you're like, oh, I really 
you know, how could I forget this or, you know, just one of these moments where you wish you had this thing that you could basically get anywhere but you don't have it on your hands right now and you can't really run to a store and get it. Well, it's for these times. Stuff only the girls will know. If my friend's in trouble, then I'm ready. Um, I'm in trouble. I'm ready too, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Don't you ever have like one of these um, annoying moments like when your shoe does this thing where it just kills your feet and rips the skin apart and it just starts bleeding and you can't walk anymore? Yeah, your shoe literally just kills you. Well, I have something for that for, for, uh, <laughs> I have something for that too, gosh. Wait, it shouldn't be this difficult. Oh, mm. that was easy. Um, yeah, these are like stickers you can put on the back of your feet to stop your shoe from killing you. This is really hard fixing glue. And you might be wondering, why do you have glue in your emergency pocket? Well, um, I, I, right now I don't have any fake nails. I just did them at home. Um, but when I do have fake nails and one of them just falls off, I use this hard glue to kind of fix them. And yeah, it works like a spell. The next thing I have in here is, now I think this happens to the best of us, but you spoil coffee or spaghetti sauce on your shirt. Um, there's actually a rescue for this. These are little towels that um, suck up the dirt from any fabric so if you like ever spill something on your clothes then you can get the dirt away with these little towels I actually don't know why I have these I really don't know why I have these in here these are like ear ear plugs I don't know why how did they <laughs> what was I thinking I, 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 I didn't think did I ever use them I, I wouldn't even I couldn't even imagine a situation where I would use them if, if you know any situation where you need to hear, use earplugs comment below help maybe I should just take them out Next we have the um, sewing kits. I, I barely use the sewing kits. Oh my gosh. And now I notice I have some unnecessary stuff in here. Um, yeah, so these two can probably go away. Um, but the rest is pretty useful. Oh my gosh. And it's just like, it has been um, even in summer, in winter, I've been getting like really cracky lips so I need to use this um, heal the cracks because the cracks open and they start bleeding and they'll kind of look like the Joker um, yeah but luckily it heals like within a few hours so that's really good just in case I get cracked lips again I keep this in my emergency pocket it can happen anytime and anywhere and it hurts <sighs> all right so what else um you never know when you need a good old scissor i once had a pack like i bought but was it makeup or a mobile charger um anyway the package was really really hard to open and I tried to open it with my hands first, but it took like 10 minutes. Then I remembered, oh my gosh, I have scissors in my emergency pocket. Then I used the scissors and it only took me like one minute. Yeah, so important. Um, what else? Oh gosh, I have so much stuff inside. I don't know, bobby pins? Why do I have bobby pins in here? So um, I take a lot of cosplay fall fo 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 my brain just did an oopsie. I take a lot of cosplay photos, so yeah, you never know when 
a hairstyle that's a little bit too complicated, then it's handy to have uh, bobby pins with you. When a costume doesn't really fit correctly, I use these here. What are these called? Like spans or something? Don't know. But anyway, um, I use these when clothes are fitting loosely. Oh, please tell me in the comments below what is this called. <laughs> I have no clue. This also doesn't fit. <laughs> Band-aids because you never know when you cut a finger or burn yourself on a hot coffee mug. You know, I'm clumsy or your friend, something happens to your friend, then it's good to have band-aids. It's a pretty basic thing to have in an emergency bag. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, this is a nasal spray because I don't know. I just hate it when my na 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 na. I just hate it when my nose is clogged, so... Ah, I love this feeling of a non-clogged nose. This is... this tops a lot of things. I have another... I have another cream for mouse cracks, sorry. <laughs> don't know why. And, um, I don't know, I, I just thought that, you know, who knows, maybe you need gummy bands. I don't know why, but maybe, just in case. Just in case, never use them, but who knows. Well, that was my emergency bag. This here I only take with me sometimes, it's my uh, medicine pouch. Um, because um, I'm kind of crazy now, <laughs> I'm not crazy. I have a uh, little bit of a... Uh, little bit of a raging ADHD so I have to take medicine about three times a day um, so when yeah when I go on a trip like that is like two days I just take the whole thing with me but when not I just uh, kind of take what I ever need and put it in my emergency pocket this here uh, is when I go to the hospital there's a little bit of fancy MCM pouch. It's a little bit too fancy for when you go to a hospital, but um, I don't know. I actually got this as a gift when I bought the bag, the MCM bag I showed you before. This was like an extra. Um, and I really didn't know what to put in there. I was like, oh, this is just right for uh, my um, little medicine booklet. Like, I mean, have all my like hospital cars in here and um, what's it called? Security thing? Hospital card, what's the card? At the dollar store. This is so cute and useful. Next, oh my gosh, um, I think this is only in Japan, but my, um, I'm not sure what to call in English, but it's like a little booklet where you, um, where all the uh, medicine you get take gets documented, and ta -da! it's so cute. It has both have my melody on it. Yay! So yeah, that's kind of what I take with me when I go to the hospital. Um, so yeah, I guess the rest is pretty basic. Um, when I go out, uh, before I usually check the weather, and if it looks like raining, then I take this foldable umbrella with me. I don't know, recently I just love the color black, so yeah, this black umbrella. If actually, I, I broke on my old umbrella, then I got this one. It's a new one. I've actually never opened it. Let's see what it looks like when we open it. Wait. It's a, apparently it's a cute umbrella, so... Yay! <laughs> I'm not glad about that. <clears throat> Gosh, I suck at closing umbrellas. How do you... Ah. Ah. Okay. I have to do it like this. I have a bad feeling. Urgh. I don't think that's right. Um, okay, so I don't, I don't want to annoy you uh, with my clumsiness, so um, yeah, what else? Uh, so yeah, what I mentioned before, I have this disinfection spray because of the Rona. Um, 
and because of that it's also important to carry around masks um i have cotton masks and just paper masks um and i try to carry around a couple of them just in case me or one of my friends loses a mask so i have this cute miffy mask case yay um, this keeps my mask nice, clean, and organized. This I usually always keep in my bag. Um, and uh, there's this another thing uh, which you're probably gonna find pretty weird. Uh, but there are actually absolutely zero trash cans in Japan. So... Du -du -du -du. Okay, you'll never guess what's inside this cute my melody it is my very own trash bag which I carry around with me because you know you, you know just candy wrappers or um, some scrap of paper you don't need anymore it uh, instead of just throwing it into my bag I just throw it in here and when I don't use it I just make a little ball out of it and put it back in here this is pretty good besides trash cans recently in japan they don't hand out like when you go shopping at the supermarket or at the convenience store you don't get these plastic bags anymore well at least for free they cost money so um, it's not like it's not obvious that you get like a plastic bag. They always have to ask you, would you like to buy um, a plastic bag? Which size? And that's kind of like this kind of made me aware that plastic bags might not be so good for the environment. Therefore, I switched to an eco bag, and this one's really useful because it's this tiny at first but then you open it and this much fits in it so it's great for doing groceries or going shopping and then when you're done you kind of can make it small like thin like this again and fold it like this and then like this it's just <laughs> you get in and then um, and then you take this strap and put it over on the other side and there, it perfectly fits into your pouch. Guess the rest of them are pretty basic things like my phone charger. This is my phone charger I got from a limited uh, store in Akihabara. It's uh, from the anime Tonikaku Kawaii. Isn't it lovely? It's such a cute anime. You should watch it, definitely. Oh, love it. Loves it! Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the cutest phone chargers I ever had. Um, yeah, and uh, these in here I... These are my earphones. Here I store my earphones. Now the sweetest thing, it's actually quite sweet which I will show you is uh, this here. I love to carry one of these in my bags. So this is a little pouch um, filled with candies and um, chocolate. You know, when I was a friend or like someone I just met then, um, I'm usually, you know, just as a conversation started, I'm like, fancy a candy or a chocolate milady. And from there on, things usually go well. Yeah. So let's have some candy with me. Yay. Candy is good for making friends. <laughs> All right. So that was uh, my what's in my bag bags. Hope you enjoy it. Um... Yeah, that's it.
let me know what kind of videos you want to see more because I'm back on YouTube. Oh, wow! Bye bye, boo!